Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I want to be showing you how to jailbreak the new 3.1.2 um, firmware for the iPod Touch 2G, iPod Touch 1G, iPhone 3G, 3GS, and yes, the new iPod Touch 3rd generation. So, there's a little couple things that go with this new 3rd generation jailbreak. It is tethered, and what that means is when it's tethered, when you turn your iPod fully off, you cannot turn it back on without plugging it back up to the computer and re-jailbreaking. So if you were to get the new iPod Touch 3rd generation jailbreak, um, do not turn it off or else you will have to re-jailbreak. Also, iPhone 3rd generation and, no, sorry, iPhone 3G and 3GS users, um, you will have to, if you are relying on Ultra Snow, Snow for um, your phone service, so you're not on AT&T, or O2 in the US or you know Rogers on um in Canada um you do not want to use this jailbreak cuz you will lose um your unlock and this is solely because you before this jailbreak you will have to update to 3.1.2 so you will have to be unjailbroken for a little bit so therefore it will update your baseband losing your unlock but for iPod 1 um 2G and 1G you're fine for this, so I have an iPod 2G, so let's get on with it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is up to, th to the 3.1.2 in iTunes. Really simple, all you got to do is download it and then restore to it. Once you're on the 3.1.2, not jailbroken, you're just a normal iPod user, you're going to want to download blackrain.exe. I'll have a link in the description and it's by GeoHot so shout out to him I mean this is such an easy jailbreak so what you're going to want to do is have your iPod plugged up you don't even have to put in the DFU mode open up black rain click run and then click make it rain and it does everything by itself it's such an easy jailbreak guys I mean totally awesome oh my bad if you are plugged up and nothing's happening, and you're like, I'm glad this happened. Nothing's happening. All you want to do is unplug your iPod and then plug it right back up in. You hear that little sound? It just plugged in. iTunes should pop up. Exit this out. So, this is a good thing to show you. I am on the 3.1.2 right here. I'm jailbroken right now, but that shouldn't matter. So now that I'm plugged up, open up Black Rain again. Make sure iTunes has at least read it and click Run. Then you're gonna want to click Make It Rain, and it is so easy. Right now it is respringing. It is black. Now it has a connect to iTunes logo. If this pops up, just exit it out. And if this pops out, you're doing good. It is working. Also, a GeoHot will appear on your screen with a bunch of iPhones going by them. That's how you know it's working. Now, it's going to stay at this screen, and it will reboot. And it is in the process of rebooting right now. But after it reboots, you should get something like this. I will show you. Oh, my computer's kind of slow today. But yeah, so right now guys, GeoHot's on the screen, my iPod's rebooting, I can see the Apple sign now, so it's rebooting, which is awesome. I mean, guys, this is such an easy jailbreak. All you do, update to 3.1.2, open up Black Rain, click Make It Rain, and you're done. It is crazy easy. I don't know what my computer is doing, but it's kind of annoying. Like, what was that? Oh, man. I didn't know it would open up in fireworks. I'm so sorry, guys. Alright, so, see this picture right here? When you log, when your iPhone reboots, and you're at the home screen, just go to the right and you'll have this thing called Black Rain. 
So then, what you're going to want to do is open up Black Rain. Really, really simple. And once you open up Black Rain, um, it should look something like what I'm trying to open, just being really slow. Right here. This is what it will look like. Now, uh, f for some reason it looks like this and you're like, hey, what's happening? It is because you have to, um, since you just probably just restored, you're probably going to have to um, connect back to your internet connection. So once you do that, all you have to do is click on Cydia and then you'll, then it'll install Cydia and then it'll ask you to reboot your, um, your iPod, iPhone, whatever you're using. And now I want to get a little bit in depth with these Rock and IC. Some people may know a little bit about AC. It's a little bit of a cleaner way to run Cydia. I prefer Cydia though. And Rock, I have no clue what Rock is. I installed it on mine. And I will just open it now. I just want to look at it. It says it's cleaner and faster than Cydia, but I don't think so. I've been um, listening to some other people about talking about Rock, and I'm like, hmm, what is this? But it looks just like another way to run Cydia. I've heard a lot of people saying that you have to buy a lot of stuff in it, which I'm not a big fan of. So yeah. So once you install all those, it is really simple. Oh, and it looks like you have to make an ID for it as well. Look. Look at that. Once you, it'll tell you to reboot your phone after you open up Black Rain, install all those three, your um, phone or iPod will reboot, and you'll have Cydia, Icy, and Rock, depending on what you wanted to download. So there you go, guys. I think that's like one of the easiest jailbreaks I've seen out there. I mean, you just restore to the 3.1.2 in iTunes, open up Black Rain, make it rain, open up Black Rain on your phone or iPod, download whatever you want, Cydia, whether it be Cydia, Icy, or Rock, or all, maybe all three, and then your phone or iPod will reboot, you're done. Easy as that. I have a link in the description to download your firmware. I have a link in the description to Black Rain. And please subscribe, guys. I make these videos for you. And see you in the next video. Peace.